Now as to um, what happens to our souls when we die. Are, He's going to solve the millennialism problem right now. <laughs> right now. Here we go. Um, the, the, the Bible says absent with the body present with the Lord. Absent with the body present with the Lord. Um, so in, in whatever sense that existence is um, in the meantime before the full resurrection, new heaven, new earth, new bodies glorified and whatever, we are actually somewhere. Um, what exactly is that place called? Paradise, heaven, um, wherever. Different people have different ideas, but um, I, I don't think that the Bible... Um, it, it definitely seems more to teach a, a continued um, awareness. Yeah, I mean, and Paul expects, right, you know, if I die now, and I, I expect to be present with the Lord, right? I... I I'm ready to get this over with. That's what's better for me, to die. And when I die, I'm going to be present with the Lord. Didn't mention any waiting. You read through Revelations and some other verses, you expect things in the nature of heaven and earth to change as history unfolds. So I'm inclined to believe you go to... I, I'm, almost, I, I'm certain, almost certain, I suppose, that you... I guess some people interpret the have fallen asleep verse to mean you go into a deep sleep. I don't find that convincing in light of everything else. But... I am almost certain you go to be with the Lord, and history and Armageddon and all of this is going to unfold, and maybe maybe where you are exactly as it is is going to come down to earth, and that's how it is, or maybe the nature of it's going to change. But um, I know that I, I'm not one of those people who believes that the end of the world will probably come in our lifetime. It could, but I think I'm going to die. The world's still going to be behind. I'm going to leave my kids behind and grandkids behind. I'm going to go to be with the Lord. Um, and it's going to be just as awesome then as when whatever happens next. Well, the thief on the cross. Today you, know? you will be with me in paradise, right? Yeah. Yes. So. It took him three days to die. I mean, so you, you don't lay in the ground and take a test and say, of course, let's say you're asleep in Christ. In Christ. Yeah. Well, asleep is just a euphemism of being dead. Yeah. Um, You've gone to be with the Lord. Pass on to the Lord. Right. I um, don't like to say death. Now, right. it, I mean, it does seem that our, you know, possessing of a resurrected body and all that is something that comes at a later time. Um, so. And that was going to be my answer to your levels is where I think it ultimately ends up is mm. there's not going to be levels because heaven and earth are going to be recreated and they're going to be one according mm -hmm. to Revelation. And and I and I think the asleep is more along that lines. I, I do think just as Christ's body was resurrected glorified, he's going to resurrect our bodies glorified. That we won't just be soulish beings, but that these bodies that God create, created are also good. And he's going to redeem those too fully to what they should have been from the beginning. 